Hey, I'm Michael Lunsford here, Citizens from Louisiana, and look, we have uh, this article we just did based on our dossier on Michael Holt, the LSU employee who's partnered with Banana Jones to make the Lafayette Public Library look bad. Uh, we wrote an article about that, uh, I don't know, earlier this week, last week. Check it out. But the reason this is coming up is because it all tied back to this article from Southern Library Journal, and I want to walk you through who the players are and their associations, because we... You can tell a lot by someone by who they hang around and their political affiliations, right? So let's do that. I'm going to read you a little bit about this uh, in the article itself. Just a couple of little pull quotes here. Here's one. Louisiana Citizens Against Censorship and Louisiana Association of School Librarians defeated seven of nine anti-library bills in the last legislative session. Now, I'm going to stop here for a second because I, I want to address who are these people. So here we go. Let, let's, let's jump in. So here's the article on Southern Library Journal, and I'm going to pull it right here. Louisiana Citizens Against Censorship. Copy. So now we're going to go to the Louisiana Secretary of State's website. I'm going to go to Search for Business Filings. I'm going to go look. I'm not a robot, and I have to pick stairs. I hate this. Uh, that all did up oh, stairs. Okay, usually there's three. There we go. All right, I'm not a robot. Hooray! Now I'm going to paste that in there and see what comes up. Oh look, here it is. Louisiana Citizens Against Censorship. Who's in here? It's Banana Jones, the girl that sued us because she couldn't take the heat. And I say take the heat. We effectively <laughs> we just told the public what she said in a public meeting. And this is, by the way, the the judge that there was a the 21st Judicial District, uh, agreed with us and said that's that's what they did. They read what you said or they heard what you said and they agreed. They, they put an article out or they, they posted on social media what you said and that's what you said, right? She didn't like that, so she sued us. That's that's effectively it. It's a, it's a defamation. Telling people what I said is defamation. So You can't make this stuff up, y'all. So there she is, Banana Jones. She is in charge of Louisiana. What is that? Uh, Citizens Against Censorship. The next one. Who's the next one? Here we go. Louisiana Association of School Librarians. So I have I opened up their website here. I didn't even go to the Secretary of State's website. So here we go. We're going to type in Let's see what we get. Okay. Google help me with my, my terrible typing. So here we go. Louisiana Association of School Librarians. Here they are. Who who could could it be? Oh, it's 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 Banana Jones. There she, <laughs> she, there she is. In fact, uh, the speech she made at the public library that she sued us over, she announced herself as the president of the Louisiana Association of School Librarians, which is what drew our interest. Like, wait a minute. Someone in charge of the entire state of Louisiana School Librarians is promoting keeping these nasty books in the kids section. And then, we're going to sue you. So, <laughs> so there she is. So, of the two organizations that were coordinating, both of them are her. They're Banana Jones. So, moving on, moving on, moving on. We're going to try to be quick here. It was truly a combined effort of public academic school librarians combined with the help from uh, the American Library Association. You can't make this up. I told, or, or, during the testimony for House Bill 777, it came up. This is a problem. The American Library Association is trying to manipulate and put this propaganda in front of our kids. In fact, Amanda Jones even admitted in a separate podcast that she was intentionally circumventing the parents' wishes to present sexual information and social justice into the minds of little kids under her care. She said it herself. It's in her own voice. We did a video on it. It's been a while now, but you can go find it. It's on our website. I might even link it up in the description of this video so you can go see it again for yourself. That's the kind of stuff that's going on. American Library Association is behind it. Says who? Well, it's right here in the article. Says... Banana Jones, <laughs> Louisiana Association of School Librarians, past president. She was the president when she sued us. Now she's the past president. I guess they rotate these things. Um, so, but here's the, here's the question. Let's. They said they did all these networking and they texting and emails and all this stuff in the article. And I'll get to that later, maybe. But the question I have is, okay, well, let's go look at the system they used to do this with because you don't just build this. I mean, she's not a computer person. I mean, I could build it with a little bit of time and effort, but she has no, no experience doing that. So what did she use? So we went to their website 
And this is, I, I just, to skip around instead of taking us to the home page and clicking everywhere, this is their action on House Bill 777, which effectively says that if you want to go to an American Library Association event, it's on your nickel, not the state nickel. And she was a little upset and said, oh, you're criminalizing librarians. No, I'm not paying your bill to fly to Alaska to do an American Library Association conference. Sorry. So that was it. That's the whole bill. Anyway, so here it is. Here's the action section. I oppose this bill. I can put my first name, last name, email address. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to be on their email list. But look at look, what is this? Action Network. That's the system they use to do all this with. So let's click on it. Action Network. Here we are. Action Network inspiring you to, empowering you to, anyway, you get it. Well, who are these people? Who do they partner with? Who are they associated with? Look at what DLC, DLCC, whoops, come on, let's, let's get our fingers on the homework keys. DLCC, who could it be? The Democrat Legislative Campaign Committee. And look, look what website this is. This is Act Blue. Do you see that? Act Blue. That's the big Democrat campaign donation thing, system. So it's Democrats. AFL-CIO, we all know, is associated with the Democratic Party. They're a labor union. Daily Cause, I've heard of them, but let's go look. Let's go look. Let's see. Daily Cause. Here they are. All right. So, the anti, <laughs> anti uh, J.D. Vance article here. Uh, here are stalker Vance and the real meaning of childless cat ladies. Uh, yeah, oh, this is all uh, Democrat astroturf. This is all articles about uh, why the Republicans are terrible. Why in the world would we want to support these people? All right, moving right along. Uh, Black Lives Matter, I think, needs no introduction. Uh, we skipped Canadian Labor Congress because it's Canada. And, you know, no offense, Canada, but nobody cares. So Black Lives Matter needs no introduction. United We Dream. Okay. All right. Who are these people? Biden administration grants parole. Hello, hello. For undocumented spouses, we are undocumented immigrants. So this, this is for illegal aliens. This is the kind of junk they're promoting. So this is it. This is this is them. <clears throat> uh, we're going to scroll a little bit further here just because we're just curious. In the first 24 hours after President uh, Biden endorsed Harris, organizations raised over... 70 million using this website. 70 million dollars for cackles. Look at that. Uh, da, 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 da. We're going to keep going. Okay, who's this? Uh, uh, Emmy, I don't know who that is. Woman's March Found. Let's go see who this is. Let's see. Woman's March Foundation. Woman, woman. Uh, we won't go back, take action. Well, this is very curious. It kind of looks socialist, doesn't it? Let's, let's uh, you know. We won't back down. Yeah, it looks like old propaganda from World War II, doesn't it? Uh, Woman's March platform. Oh, look, climate change. Of course, health care, universal health care, right? Income equality. All right. So everybody gets the same paycheck whether you work or not. I'll, I'll see how that works. So basically, this is another one of those socialist uh, organizations, Democrats. All right. So there you have it. That is the homepage. We haven't even dug deep on this site yet. That is the homepage for this organization. It's all Democrat stuff. Now, we have in the state of Louisiana, two-thirds supermajority House, supermajority Senate are conservative Republican. We hold every statewide elected office as conservative Republicans. And yet, we have a little bitty bureaucrat in loose parish school system who has paid a salary and benefits to build networks of democratic support to try to influence our public library system, indoctrinate our kids with social justice and sexual information, which again, she admitted in her own video. This is the stuff that's coming down from the National Democratic Party locally. How are they doing it? They're finding useful idiots locally to do this. Who are they? Banana Jones and company with all of these Louisiana citizens against censorship and censorship is Erotic books, taking erotic books out of the children's section and putting in the adult section is censorship to them. Anyway, there you have it. 
That's the first section. We're going to come back and maybe review a little bit of this uh, again to talk to you. I still owe you a video about uh, she appealed her latest. For, she's 0 for 4. Uh, Banana Jones is in her lawsuit against us. She's appealed to the state Supreme Court, so I need to talk to you about that. But um, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Stay tuned. See you next time.